welcome back to my vegan kitchen. I've got a requested recipe today. It is for Nick. He wanted a chicken pot pie. And this happens to be one of my husband's favorite dishes. He's got a few favorites. Most of them involve potatoes and there's potatoes in this one. So let's get started. There's a few ingredients here. <laughs> and by a few, I mean, okay, there's a few ingredients. <laughs> let's get started with the cooking. We've got a mirepoix. And if you know anything about French cooking, that is the holy trinity. Celery, onion, carrot. We're going to be sauteing this in a pan over here. Uh, if you want to use oil, go right ahead and use oil. Some people are cutting back on their oil. You can saute in a little bit of water. I'm going to use a little bit of oil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use some avocado oil because that's my favorite one for um, sauteing. So that's probably like a tablespoon. Always wait for your pan to be hot before you put the food in, otherwise it's going to stick and you don't want that. So we're going to start with the onions and the celery. Yeah, sizzle baby. So that was one onion chopped up, four ribs of celery, and yes, leave the little uh, leaves on the top on because it gives added flavor, it's really delicious. Might as well just add the carrots right away. This is a 16 ounce uh, bag of the baby carrots, which I chopped a little bit smaller. The trick to a really good tasting experience eating a pot pie is to have all the vegetables about the same size because then they will all cook at about the same rate. And it's nicer to bite into a tiny piece of vegetable than a giant piece of vegetable. So just make sure everything it's small enough for bite size. So we're just gonna saute these a little bit, turn down the heat a little bit, uh, until the onions start to get a little see-through. All right, while well, that is cooking, we're gonna save some time here, and we, Maddie has already made the double crust for this. I'll put the ingredients in, and the link to the video where we went through the crust in the bottom bar, but we're just gonna have a double crust. It's gonna be, that means it's gonna be all along the bottom and all over the top. So it's encased in deliciousness. Yes, I know, look at him. Hi, you're helping. All right, the onions are starting to get a little translucent. So now I'm going to add the mushrooms. I've got some mini portobellos here. This is about an eight ounce uh, package of baby portobellos smashed. Whoever gave me, I don't remember your name, unfortunately, whoever gave me the tip in the comments on one of the other videos to just smash the mushrooms, thank you very much. It is a huge time saver, and it looks kind of rustic. I like that. I don't always like sliced mushrooms because then they look like they're from the can. So this totally looks, you know, avant-garde. I love it. This is looking amazing right now. This is how you want it to look all cooked. No one's going to bite into a hard carrot. That would be disgusting. <laughs> all right, so I boiled about six um, eastern potatoes. You know, they're like this big. Six of them, peeled them, cut them into bite-sized pieces. Now I'm just um, taking some of the water from the potatoes just because it's already hot and I don't want to waste time reboiling water. Bringing that back up to temperature, I'm going to have to add a little bit more, but about three cups of water. And I'm going to drain the rest of the potatoes and add them as well. And this is where we add the bouillon, which I can't find right now. So I'm going to do the best I can with some of this uh, miso. I'm going to add enough for the three cups, so like three teaspoons of miso. Also, we're going to add one package of uh, frozen peas. You don't really have to cook these because they're pretty much cooked and when it cooks in the pot pie, it's going to be great. Now this is what I'm using for the chicken today. The best one is the Beyond Meat Chicken. I would use one pack uh, chopped up like this. But this is a pretty good substitute. Don't use the teriyaki pack. Save that for another day. And we're going to add that. And then we're just going to add the spices. If I didn't add the bouillon, I would be adding salt. But that's going to be way too salty, so I'm just going to add some pepper and about a teaspoon of thyme. Sean! And that's all the seasoning you really need in that. So let me get all those things added and I'll meet you back at the crust. This is a little secret. 
I've got about a quarter cup of water here with a couple of uh, heaping teaspoons of arrowroot. Or you could use cornstarch as well. You're just going to put this into the pot and stir it up. Just bring it to the boil and you should have a gravy. That's what makes the uh, liquid in there thick. That was the oven. Uh, it's preheated to 375. We're going to spoon this mixture into the crust. Pop the top on, and then we're gonna put it in that oven. Oh yeah, baby, shovel it in. All right, this looks like a lot. I'm always overfill, and I always make more than I actually need. You know what, it's better to have more than not enough. And if you've got any leftover, it's a bonus for lunch the next day. Have it with some uh, non-egg noodles <laughs> you don't really need anything i mean it's still pretty good maybe this will just be the right amount i don't know we'll see <laughs> what that's pretty perfect now we're just going to take the crust top crust that is put it over This um, double crust is really for like a round pie thing, so it's a little skimpy, but do the best that you can here to seal it on the edges. I mean, it's, it's not gonna be completely sealed if you do it on a, in a nine by 13. Obviously, that is an S ton of filling. It's way too much for a nine by 13, but if, you know, if you don't have enough crust, you could always do like strips on the top, like a lattice. I know you like a lot of crust. Hummy. Maybe we should cut a couple blow holes in here because I don't know if these ones around the edges are gonna be enough. Let's do it like we're Betty Crocker or something. Just do like the little leaf design. Ooh. Hey, that's good enough. Let's put a little Petal middle. All right, let's pop that in the oven. That's ready to go. This bad boy is going in the oven at 375 for about an hour. Bye, be delicious when I come back. Oh yeah, it was in about 50 minutes. We're gonna pack it up and take it to my mom's house, but Whoa. boy, just look at that. It smells so good. <sighs> All right, so here you could see it on my plate. First slice didn't come out so well, but as you can see the leftovers here, it held together really well. You could see the, the crust encasing everything. This is all that was left over from dinner. People seemed to really enjoy it. I it thought was it delicious. was really good. It, uh, it was pretty healthy. The crust only had, what, about a third of a cup of olive oil in it? Two. Oh, two thirds of a cup because that was a double crust. If you want to cut down on the oil, you could just put a crust on the top if you want, just so you get that crust taste. But I thought it was a really good recipe. And like I said, everybody enjoyed it. So I hope you give it a shot. It's fairly easy to make. I mean, it's got a little prep work with all the veggies, but give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, some healthy, some comfort food, because the holidays are coming up. And until next time, much love.